what's up y'all welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title of the video today i just want to um, kind of talk about um, the allergy test that i just took why i decided to even take an allergy test what my results were and all of that stuff so if you're interested in seeing my results stay tuned okay number one do y'all see how this sun <laughs> It's just hitting my face like today we're using natural lighting so I'm sorry for like the glares and stuff like the Sun is going up and down but y'all just work with me just work with me um anyway I decided to do an allergy test probably at the beginning of last month um, so the company that I decided to go with and before I even begin this is not a sponsor video as a matter of fact I wish somebody would sponsor me <laughs> Um, but no, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I paid my own money for this um, and I'm here to tell you about my experience. So yes, um, I used, um, I went to allergytest.co and um, what I did was there are like different packages that you can get. Like they have family ones, they have ones for singles, they have all of those things. Um, but I decided to go with the single of course and i did um the one above essential which i think it was like 43 dollars. right now they're having a sale which is like 60 percent off so if you really do want to do this um after you've done some research or whatnot um i would say go ahead and jump on it because i don't know how long that sale is gonna last now another thing is before i even researched this i really jumped the gun <laughs> let's just say that before um, I get into any of this I did a lot of like research watched a few YouTube videos and a lot of people weren't necessarily um, they did the, the, getting the test wasn't favorable favorable for a lot of people they felt like it wasn't really accurate but your girl had already sent in you know my stuff so you know I was just like whatever we're gonna ride with so yeah I I got the one above the essential this one it was gonna include all types of like food intolerance um, it was going to include um, like like um, imbalances, like gut things, um, like that. You and you can go on the website and you can read all the things that the test includes. But I kind of, I already knew some of the things, um, so that I was like intolerant to over the years through my doctors telling me. But I knew that there were other things that I probably wasn't aware of because I bloat very easily. I have digestional issues, and um, sometimes when i seem to eat the healthy things i still have issues um so i decided to do it so anyway i went with that one and i did the hair test um literally i think it takes about four strands of hair to send in i put it in a little plastic bag sealed it up you know wrote my name on it um and sealed it with like a piece of paper that they they ask you to print off and i sent that off in an envelope and i would say it took it took over a month for me to get the results i think it would be quicker depending on your mailing system now i'm at a school um i don't know how fast the mail goes out from here but they didn't receive my hair sample for weeks um, so if you're in a place um, to mail and you know you know how um, quickly mail usually gets places for you it, it, it could be a lot quicker for you is what I'm saying it could vary in time so um, once they got my hair sample like once they sent me the email they guarantee less than seven days for your results to come back so I believe that the testing facility is um, the one for the United States is in Florida um, and I think it's a UK based company and you can double check that but Anyway, I just want to share with y'all some of the things um, that I'm allergic to. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is literally my opinion. Like, I know, like I said, that I watch YouTube videos and people were like, no, this test is bogus, blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you, when I got some of the results back, I know for a fact some of these things I am highly intolerant to because my primary care my regular doctors have told me these things and I really was in denial but now I'm like okay anyway so let's just go I'm not going to read everything because there's quite a few things that I'm allergic to but I want to read the most shocking things um so right at the top of the list let's just start here is crab <sighs> no 
No, your girl is not going to be partaking in all the crab legs. <laughs> you know, that everybody's being able to enjoy during the stimulus season. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, No, crab is at the top of the list. Can y'all believe it? Like crab meat and you know what i don't even know why i was so shocked like i was just so like oh my gosh crab meat i don't <laughs> i don't even eat crab meat like that i love crab but i just i'm not in a season where your girl can just be buying crab legs eating crab legs so i haven't even been eating crab legs but i am 96 percent intolerant to crab leg and let me just say this too i'm all over the place y'all but sorry this is really an impromptu video and i really wanted to just talk about this but um the crab the um so um they will put if you are 85 percent or above intolerant to anything like if it's 85 percent or greater i don't know how they calculate that like i said do your own research they'll put it on there and they would expect you to make adjustments to your diet um but an intolerance could be like irritation it could be bloating it can be ibs which is irritable bowel syndrome it could be you know itching sometimes i literally some of the things i'm gonna name i literally start itching from these things i just never considered an intolerance i i didn't Okay, y'all that sun is so bright like i got to like do something so i'm just moving out of the way of the sun a little bit sorry for the variations like i said but um yeah the, let's just continue down the list i'm gonna skip a few things egg yolk egg yolk 93 percent. and you know what i'm not shocked about this one it's just more of a confirmation um i don't know if i shared this on my youtube channel before but probably about two years ago I ended up going to urgent care and literally this wasn't like said by any of my doctors or anything but I felt in my spirit and maybe it was the Holy Spirit telling me that it was the eggs because I was eating a lot of eggs at the time and that was like my whole process or my journey of going vegan like the the the, the way that my body responded to me eating those eggs like was so bad that I felt like God was calling me to just give up animal products. Um, but in retrospect, I felt like it was the egg. So to see egg yolk on there, um, yeah, I can, I can definitely, um, I could definitely see that being the issue because I have been getting more into egg whites. Um, and I haven't been having as many issues with it. Also, I've noticed that, um, I've been trying to keep like, uh, just trying to keep up with what I'm eating. I'm gonna have to move again okay so I've been trying to keep up with what I'm eating and so I have been um eating egg whites and I haven't had issues with those eggs literally make me itch and this was before I got these results so none of this is like well some of it is surprising but some of this is not um the next thing is milk which was not also not surprising my mom said when I was little and she tried to switch me to real milk that I would not drink it so <laughs> Um, yeah, I just never really loved milk like that. Of course, it's tasty, you know, when you're making a good chai or something like that. Um, but yeah, milk and me do not go well together. I actually have a 90% intolerance to that. And for years now, I have been drinking non-dairy milk. So like almond milk, oat milk, things like that. So that wasn't, you know, a big shocker to me. Um, millet which it says can be used as a traditional cereal, can be used in porridge, snacks, and other types of bread. 93% um, intolerant. Quinoa, which I used to eat, but I stopped eating. 87% intolerant. Uh, let's see, radish. I don't really eat radish. That's 94%. Arugula. Now, I don't usually eat arugula, but I do sometimes buy salad mix that I think has arugula in it. And you know what now that i'm thinking i had a mixed salad one day and it literally made my lips like break out like it was like i had a serious allergic reaction to something and i was thinking maybe it's just you know what no it wasn't arugula i'm lying i mean i'm not lying on purpose but it wasn't arugula let me just back that up it was romaine so romaine is not on this list but it was the romaine i'm not even gonna say i'm not even gonna put that on the arugula so the next one is soy sauce 
Now, I'm 85% intolerant to soy sauce, but the thing is, I love Asian um, food, but I have not been using soy sauce. I have been using coconut aminos. So I have actually cut out soy sauce naturally from my diet because of the salt. Um, and here's the one that I already knew. I Listen, y'all. I already knew this one was going to be high up on the list but it, it is it is high up on the list and that is white sugar i'm 99 percent intolerant to white sugar and all of my doctors have told me that i need to give up refined sugar and listen y'all who gives up <laughs> i know people do this but who who gives up refined sugar I can't say that I will never eat refined sugar again because I got some yogurts in the in my refrigerator that I'm gonna eat. Um, we'll see how we do. Um, but I don't eat them very often. But yeah, I, refined sugar. I have definitely cut back. Like my refined sugar right now is at a minimum. Like I really don't eat white sugar at all. So it's a bummer. It, it really is a bummer. But this is the process of me taking charge of my health. Um, so yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. Your girl's gotta do what she gotta do. Um, the next one, venison. What? Like I've been trying to get deer meat for years. That's probably why I couldn't get it because I'm 87% intolerant to it. Vodka, no apple martinis for me, <laughs> even though I don't drink. Um, let's see. Okay, here's some outside stuff. I, like I said, I didn't name all of the food stuff. Oh, corn was another one, maize. Um, so um, I'm 85% intolerant to that. Let's see. Some other things that are common. I'll just name the common ones that I'm allergic to. I am 95% allergic to tumbleweed, which I don't know if I've ever come in contact with that. Um, and tulips. My God, 91%. Wow. Y'all. Here's one more that I just found interesting because I am 100% intolerant to this is barley it says it's a major cultivated cereal grain often in beer i don't eat cereal and i don't drink beer so maybe that's why i don't <laughs> i have not come in contact now i have had cereal in the past but who knows you know i was eating so much that could have made me bloated i don't even know e either way i'm not gonna go eat these foods to test it out because i these are not like some of these are not even a part of my diet anymore so I'm not worried about these. The biggest things for me that I would say I really have to be cautious about um, is the corn, um, the milk, because I still like to eat certain dairy things with milk, um, and the sugar. I don't know if I just said that, but the sugar. That's a big, big, big thing for me. Um, so yeah, other things that I had, I had some imbalances and you know, it tells me that I'm a, I have like a B3 imbalance. I have an omega-6 imbalance, a lactic acid um, imbalance. It told me all of those things. So all in all, I think that the test was worth my money. I do feel like it was pretty accurate. Even <laughs> like some of the things that, oh, or some of the arguments that I saw um, against this test was that um, it literally would calculate whatever you were eating. Listen, none of the things that I've been regularly eating are on this list. So, and the things that I know for a fact I am intolerant to are on this list. So, like I said, do your own research. These are my results. I would recommend it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video or, you know, if you enjoy content like this, please let me know. Other than that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.